Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Ghost Prime, and I'll take a look at KO Ghost Prime. I had to pick this up. I got this guy off eBay for just under $60. Uh, it's one I saw in 2011. It was a bunch of KO sitting at a desk in uh, BotCon. And I came across this. It was really neat. And I rarely see it on eBay. Saw it for a pretty good price. Had to pick it up because, you know, Ghost Prime. Anyway, this is going to be a real quick video because we're just going to look at this. We've seen Optimus Primes before. Uh, I'm just going to go over the quality of it, really. Uh, so please subscribe if you haven't. Um, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, hit the thumbs down vote button if you have to. Without any further ado, let's get to the review. And he comes in this box. See, you can't see him in the box. That's not funny. Actually, I took him out. We've all seen a box. I'm not going to go over this box. It's a KO Optimus Prime box. We've seen it. I have videos on it. You can check those out. Here is the figure itself. So I have taken it apart and I put on the wheels on roller already. Now he does come with his bloated blaster, which is done in a clear plastic and it's bent, which is a shame, but it's a KO. I mean, these are the kind of things that happen, right? Uh, he does come with the, Let's see if I can get that out of there. The fist looks like they were on a sprue, but they had, they came apart in the bag. He comes with the gas nozzle or welding torch or whatever this is. I don't know if that part fell off. And it comes with this part here. He does have, the only thing that's not, besides the chrome, see-through is this. And they could have done it. They really could have made this see-through. Um, I can't see it because it's there. And this just sticks inside here like any other prime. Like so. Yeah, decent fit, as long as you get it in there. And there it is. So you know, gas pump, and that could go on the back here. That fits decent enough. Put that to the side. Gun can fit up here, but it is really loose. He comes with a bunch of missiles. I took two of them off the sprue. Also clear. This is one thing I'm really glad that they didn't do. They didn't pre-apply these stickers on the trailer because I like how it's all clear. I think that's really cool. I could have put them on there, but they're not clear, and I love the clear look, keeping them off there. Although, they're pretty decent quality. It is nice to have this uh, for whatever I need it for. And in here, he does come with all the standard KO stuff, like the stripe, which isn't on there, which I considering putting it on there and uh, instructions the uh, decoder and a regular standard sticker sheet and there is a rub sign let's take a look at the trailer close up as you can see it is a clear plastic now it's not perfect uh one part that was broken right out of the box is this right here and you can see the stress marks when they put in the screw the, the spider webbing cracks so this is not super durable clear plastic not that we expect plastic clear plastic to be durable to begin with but it's it's pretty bad so keep that in mind if you do pick one of these up but it is nice and clear uh this door on mine does not like to stay uh super well and it's scary opening this thing actually i'm gonna move these forward these move forward and out just like normal i'll go ahead and do that we know how optimus prime works i'm not gonna go over it Oh, that always terrifies me every time it clicks. Opens up. I'm just kind of going over what quality this is. These are all screws in here. So it seems to stay up decently enough. It's not super tight, but it stays up enough. Uh, that piece, the little radar dish, stays up pretty well. This is loose. You could use some floor polish. Like it's a ball joint in the back there. It's pretty loose. But... Oh, it doesn't stay up very well, but I do like how um, all the parts are there, and this is clear. I know on other ones, it was a beige. When I first one of these I saw, it was like a beige color. Uh, the missiles do fire. Again, pretty cool that it's the, they're there and they fire. I like this clear thing. This clear is just awesome, uh, even if it's super, super fragile. It's, I'm going to lose that. We got a hair trigger there. Get that back down. There we go. 
Uh, this does have a mechanism, and look at that. That is, look at that. <laughs> it just launches it. So, so it can fire with this. That's cool that they put that in. And overall, fits there pretty well. Uh, as far as the fitting on these go, on the side here, not super tight on these little peg holes or the, the, yeah, the peg holes and the pegs. The ports just don't really fit that in really, really well. This is just something I gotta shove in there. They, there's a lot of parts on this that are like that, that are loose or don't fit right. It is an issue with this. We'll take a look at the cab. I love how the, well, they're a little bit yellowed. Uh, that's just how they came in the box. I love the clear wheels on this thing. They're rubber too. They are rubber. They're not plastic. These are rubber, which is really cool. Now this does not have any metal on it. Uh, as you could probably tell, it is all clear, no metal. So it just has plastic, 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 and it makes it actually super light for an all plastic one. Um, I'll, one thing I did forget to mention, he has fists, which I put in the appropriate location. Uh, they are clear, and they are the bloated fists. Which, like, there's an issue with those. Now, Optus Prime has pretty good uh, chrome on them. Uh, the wheels, for the most part, roll all but this one. And that's an issue with, man, uh, with the assembly. You can see, I don't know if you can see the hub there. The hub is rotating alongside it. Um, so you can see it actually rotates that one too. This one actually rolls. It's because it's attached to that piece in the middle. Uh, I'm not sure how to fix that. I don't know if I can fix that. I'm not sure if I want to you know, go through the, the, the process of taking this thing apart uh, just because of how brittle the plastic is. But transforming off those primes, get to transform. Legs click in pretty nicely. Uh, one thing uh, to do, have to mention, not super tight. Uh, it'll kind of stay forward there, but it's it's a screw. I could tighten it. I uh, don't want to make the cause of spider webbing on it. Uh, one of the arms, well, the arms are kind of loose as well. But on most of my KOs, let me put the head up. On most of the KOs I have, the other two KOs I have, this doesn't turn as well. Uh, so these are nice. These actually feel good. This joint's a little tight. Kind of make, put some stress there. Scares me a little bit. There right, it goes. Uh, the first thing that happened on my very first KO that I got was the black one. And I showed this in my, my review. Is that the fists don't fit. The white one I have do fit. See? Like, that's the wrong one. But go like that. And they don't fit. Another problem with this is the gun doesn't really fit super tight either. I could like wedge it in there and get it in there real deep like that um, and get that to fit like, real, real, real deep. And if I put the, put the fist in and kind of push that on, I could wedge it so it wedges there and stays plugged in. This one, I'm gonna have to just kind of leave like that or find some way to thicken that post to put that post in there. But there he is. I, I think he looks cool. Like, I love this. This is rad. Let me get a close up on the head sculpt. And we all know what the Optimus Prime head sculpt looks, but it looks really cool and clear. <laughs> and there goes his knees. It looks really good and clear. I mean, I, I dig it. I like how the, the eyes are actually painted nice on this one. The crest is painted up there. And the uh, uh, his front uh, mouth plate is painted. It's only painted on the front, not on the top, so it gives it a kind of a weird look in the light. Uh, it looks pretty neat, though. I like it. Uh, the windows on the earlier ones of these were the tan color that Generation 1 Prime has. And I'm glad they went with a clear color for this. I think it fits really well. Again, you can see the front right there. All the way down. I'm not going to put the stickers on them just because they're not clear. I did... Think about kind of getting a clear red paint and making it like completely clear, but I don't know. I think this is kind of neat. So I might just leave it like this. Just completely 100% clear, except for the pieces that they have painted. Uh, looks pr just pretty neat. There he is with my first KO Prime that I, I picked up. I actually got the 
uh, Toy Hack stickers for to turn him into a Nemesis Prime. And there he is with my white Optimus Prime that I'm going to eventually turn into a Ghostbusters Prime. Now, they all have problems, right? They all have problems. This one didn't have any of the regular fists. This one came with the regular fist. This one comes with... These two came with a bloated gun. It actually looks like this one's done off the same mold. You know, uh, it, it is what it is. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, looking at the copyright, see if I can even see it. It does say Japan, and there's a T2 in there. So this is based off the T2 uh, trailer. It's what it's made from. Just like the other, just like these ones all have the T2 designation. Uh, so that's what it's KO'd, it's KO'd off that one. So in conclusion, I think this guy's really cool. He's not without his faults. It's not like I'm going to be messing around with it. It will break. If I drop this thing, it probably will break. It's really brittle. It's not as solid as these two. This is the most solid out of the three. Uh, this one's really cool. I love making this one into a Nemesis Prime. It goes on my Nemesis Prime shelf. This is going to be Ghostbusters. I'm going to kind of do it up like the Masterpiece. And this one is me, Ghost Prime. So I had to pick it up. I, you know, I'll pick up some really cool recolors of uh, Optimus Prime, even if they are Chaos. I can't afford the official ones. Like, I really want the bait, but I can't afford those. They are prohibitively expensive. Um, but yeah. So anyway, I appreciate you checking these out with me. Let me know what you think of them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next review.